everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for coming. I'm the Emerging Educator and today is Tuesday and that can only mean one thing. It is time for True Story Tuesday. True Story Tuesday is where I talk about some of my experiences teaching and what it has taught me to help me become the educator that I am today. So as I've mentioned before, I am starting in Chicago Public Schools next week. The students will be coming for the first time. I'm very nervous, but I am getting my classroom together little by little. We still have some days this week of training slash working in our room. So hopefully I can get it ready for my kiddos before they get there. One of the things I love most about back to school is meeting my kids and helping them get accustomed to the rules of our classroom. And I started watching one fat teacher's video about how her classroom runs. And one of the things that she mentioned in her video was that she has a container for water bottles somewhere in her room. I love that idea and thinking about that made me reflect upon one of my most embarrassing moments. So one of the fun things about back to school is picture day and I will remember my first picture day forever because when I came to my first picture day I wanted to look so nice so I wore these great shoes they were just wonderful they were a little bit taller than I'm used to I normally tend to wear flats or a short heel so I wore these great shoes and they looked great with my outfit. They matched my earrings. They had bling on it. It was wonderful. And everything was going fine. However, at the time, I did not have a way for students to keep their water bottles off of their desk and leaking onto their desk. And that's kind of common. So at the time, I had told my students, go ahead and just put it on the floor on top of some paper towels. Well, one of my students did not put down paper towels, and so his water bottle, which had ice in it, slowly started to condense it and make little beads of sweat at, all over in a little puddle on the floor. I did not realize this, and I was walking and giving a spelling test at the same time. So, long story short, I'm in the middle of giving this spelling test, and the next thing I know, my wonderful heels hit the puddle of water and my legs go up and I end up butt first on the floor. And the kids tried so hard not to laugh, but even I had to laugh. So we did have a good laugh and we talked about how it's important to think about safety as well. So now it's time for the moral of the story. friends it is time for the moral of the story the moral of the story is try to have a plan for everything and as teachers we always try and think of the little things like the what-ifs that could happen but even the impromptu moments have consequences so when I told the students go ahead and put them on the floor for the spelling test I was not thinking of how much of a risk factor that posed to students or teachers walking up and down the aisle and I definitely did not think about how the condensation could be dangerous for myself and the students so thank you to one fab teacher for coming up with the idea of putting student water bottles in a bin or a basket so that they can access them when they need it I have a sink in my classroom so I might be putting it in the sink and then if they need their water bottle they can just grab it from the sink so definitely try and take into consideration student safety and teacher safety too and just a little side moral of the story don't wear heels that you can't handle to school on picture day wear shoes that are comfortable because Honestly, picture day only gets you from about here up, so don't try to be too fancy. Alright, that was another installment of True Story Tuesday. Join me again next week where I talk about another adventure that I had in teaching and what it taught me. <laughs> <laughs>